again, cuckoo! As promised, I'm going to show you how I introduce the idea of a language to the kids, which is a bit different to actually introducing the language, although there will be some of that incorporated at the end. So the concept of languages for the children is, it's pretty vague. They don't really, they don't know at all. Most of them don't know that the words they use are called English. They don't know that it's called a language and therefore introducing another language and saying that this is called, this is now we're speaking Russian or now we're speaking Mandarin doesn't really mean anything to them. So what we want to do is find a way where we can, in a, in a form of entertainment, introduce them to the idea in a way that they can relate to. So the way that I do it, you can take it you can take the process word for word, but you won't want to take the actual words because you'll need to tweak it to represent your country and your language and your little cultural um, cultural eeks. But you want to take the ideas. So I'm using this way to show them, it will give them an idea of the distance that we have to travel to get to France because I'm doing the French. So the idea of how long it takes, but in a way that the children can really relate to. You say one day, two days, yesterday, tomorrow, for them it's all a big jumble that they try to get their head around. So in a way that they can relate to and, and just introduce it some cute little ways to show them how people use different words in different places, but they mean the same things that our words mean. So have a look and have a little tweak, play with it yourself, come up with some little scenario that works really well for you. Try it on with the kids, see what sort of reaction you get. You want them to laugh, you want them to be engaged, you want them to be repeating what you're saying because uh, towards the end we'll actually do some action, some, some fun things so they're instantly speaking your language and having some fun with it. And let me know how you go. All right, so. I'm going to imagine that I have a group of children sitting in front of me. I'll be sitting on a small chair. It's easier, I find, if you just have that little bit of distance. And I'll start by asking, I'll pretend you guys are the children, okay? I have a question for you. Who has ever been on an aeroplane? And you'll have hands going up everywhere and children calling out, I've been here, I've been there. So you'll calm them down in the end and say, I had an idea to make an aeroplane with our hands. I'll show you how I make my aeroplane. We put our fist out like this. You stick out your thumb and you stick out your little finger and that makes the wings of the planes. And let's imagine that we're in the aeroplane and we're at the airport in, what's the name of that country where we all live? And you wait for their answers until we get to Australia. And do you know the name of that beautiful city near here? where there's the Sydney Harbour Bridge. And hopefully at some point you'll get a Sydney as a response. Okay, so let's imagine that we're in the aeroplane in Sydney and we're going to hop on the plane in the morning and we're going to fly up, 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 up. And we're going to fly over the ocean and away from Australia. We're going to have some brekkie on the plane and then we'll have some lunch on the plane. What should we have for lunch? Maybe some chicken and rice? And then we'll play some games and maybe some little videos on the back of the seat. And man, my arm's getting tired. Is your arm getting tired? I'm going to swap arms. Have to fly so far, keep going away from Australia, over the ocean. We'll have some dinner on the plane. What should we have for dinner? And listen to their responses. Maybe some sausages? Okay, sausages for dinner. And then we're all going to go to sleep. And in the morning... We wake up and finally, finally we can land our plane down, 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 down. And you put your hand on the ground. And we're in a different airport. We're not in Australia anymore. Menu, menu. We're in another airport in another country called France. In another beautiful city called Paris. And do you know that when we get off the plane in the airport in Paris, Nobody is going to say hello to us. What? Nobody say hello to us? Meh. Why nobody say hello to us? And generally the children will be laughing by then. They don't say hello to us because those French people, they do not say hello. 
Menu, menu. They say bonjour. Let's all say bonjour like the French kids. Everybody wave and say bonjour. That's funny, bonjour. And do you know that all the words that the French people speak, they're all different words to the words that we use. So let's imagine that where, say you're walking down the street of Paris and you're walking along happily and you see a really cute little doggy on the street and you say, oh, look at that cute little doggy. And those French people, they'll say, hein? pardon, I do not understand. What is a little doggy? Which normally gets them all laughing. Because they don't call it a little doggy. Mono? They call it un chien. Un chien? Can we all say un chien? Everybody say un chien. You see, you spoke a French word just like the French kids. And when those French kids, they go to kindy, they don't sing Baba -ba Black Sheep. Mono, mono. And they don't sing, they don't even sing the wheels. Mais non. But they do sing a pretty cool song about some bells ringing in the morning, going ding, dang, dong, and waking everybody up. Maybe you've heard of this song. It's called Frère Jacques. Okay, so this is where we'll all get together and sing Frère Jacques and have some action. So you would replace that with a cute little song that you have from your country, or perhaps you'll make one up. But there should be something that's easy for them all to... You want to find a song that's not too wordy and that you can put, do some actions that reflect what the, what the words mean in the song. And, um, and once we've done the song, I'll, get, I'll call out to everybody and I'll say, copy off me, okay? Everybody call out, are you ready? And the kids call out, are you ready? Un, deux, trois, action! Da, be, da. Shall we go swimming? Nage, 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 underwater. <gasps> Blow the bubbles. <laughs> Excuse me. So you could do something just like that in your own language. It's very easy and the kids laugh. They just love it. And then I'll get them to again keep going. I say, everybody copy. Lundi, lundi, mardi, mardi, mercredi, mercredi. Jeudi, jeudi, vendredi, vendredi, samedi, samedi, dimanche. Okay, I was on the floor then, so you go on the floor. Dimanche. Do you know what you just said? You just said Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And hopefully they'll all say Sunday, or some of them will. All in French. Hey, what day is it today? Does anybody know what day it is today? Today is Thursday. So that's lundi, mardi, mercredi, jeudi. So actually I would do it the other way. I'd say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Lundi, mardi, mercredi, jeudi. Thumbs up everybody. We're going to sing about jeudi. Today is jeudi. Today is jeudi, today is jeudi, it is our French day. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq. Cache, cache. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq. Coucou. That's pretty much it. That's probably as far as it can take you. That would create the entire introduction of the idea of your language how far it takes to get there so i've said rather than saying it takes all day and all night i've said we have breakfast we have lunch we play some games we have dinner we go to sleep we wake up in the morning things they can relate to so whatever the distance is between sydney and your country you would then just maybe you just have breakfast and lunch um, so you carry that through to the distance to your country and then landing in the airport, do something funny, something cute about why they don't say hello and 
Oh, I use the example of walking down the street and seeing a little dog. You could do something similar. I don't know, the Russian people, they do not see a little doggy. You, put, you do it yourself. Try and exaggerate your own accent a little bit if you can. I think it's a bit tricky, but if you can, it makes it really fun. Just exaggerate your accent a little bit like the people don't know. They do not understand. They do not understand what is a little doggy. Because the kids really love it. They laugh and laugh. Um, and then follow up with some actions, follow up with a little song that you can play and all of a sudden you've got them so energetic and having so much fun and they've, they've got the idea of your language. So from then on, every time that you want to introduce a game or a word or a story and you're going to say you're doing it in Mandarin, they will know what Mandarin is. They will have at least some sort of concept of the idea of this other country with other words that they use. So I love it if you could have a try. Try and find a version that suits you of that kind of introduction and I'm sure you'll have a big success. And then I would love to hear your stories. Okay, until next time. Au revoir.